Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communication and Theater Arts from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10, live at 5, is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for a social spotlight as we check the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're thinking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, tornadoes touch down in Portage County. And also, we'll discuss chat with the chaplain. In our social spotlight segment, we'll check up on the latest topics and we'll also give you the latest in your Berg sports next. Don't touch that remote. WHEI New Center 10 Live at 5 starts now. Tiffin and welcome to WHEI News Center 10 live at 5 for Tuesday, September 11th, 2014. I'm Elizabeth and I'm Stacy. Let's get to our first story of the night. Today marks the 13th anniversary of the terrorist attack that occurred in New York on September 11th, 2001. For those of us who are old enough to remember where we were when it first happened and when it came over the news, we also envy and feel the need to educate those that aren't. Fairlawn Middle School teacher Judy but Busey has made it her mis mission to educate her students who were born after the attacks on why we recognize 9-11 by sending them home with assignments to watch the President of the United States address on Middle Eastern affairs and to have conversations with their parents and older family members about what they remember about 9-11 in addition to painting a 12-foot poster thanking law enforcement for their involvement that fateful day. Busey told the Beacon Journal that she has lived through a few wars of her own and feels that the impact that everyone has made is too great to ignore. Last night in Stowe, Ohio, a tornado touched down for two minutes and managed to uproot trees, damage some homes, and even pay a visit to the local high school. With wind speeds up to 85 miles per hour and a width at 50 yards, the National Weather Service rated the tornado as one of the least severe of tornadoes. Portage County may be no stranger to tornadoes as its last touchdown in 2006, but we are happy to report that no lives are claimed in this brief natural disaster. A judge is sentenced a Northeast Ohio mother to six years in prison. The mother, 31-year-old Jessica Gunderman of Parma, Ohio, was charged with domestic violence and disorderly conduct in addition to several other crimes committed over the past few years. WOIO-TV reported that Gunderman pled guilty last month to several criminal charges, including child abuse in an incident that occurred earlier that year in March. An apologetic Gunderman was sentenced Wednesday. Family members currently have the child. A 16-year-old of Mount Blanchard, Ohio, received a few injuries from a potentially life-threatening situation when his vehicle collided with the vehicle of 48-year-old Rodney Spade of Arlington, Ohio. According to the Hancock County Sheriff's Office, the accident happened at the intersection of 273 and Township Road 191 around 2.40 p.m. yesterday afternoon. Spade was cited for failing to yield to the right-of-way at a stop sign. Spade was left uninjured, excuse me, Spade was left injured while the 16-year-old was taken to the hospital for treatment. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have your biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. I'm and I'm Morgan Brandt, and, and you're, you're watching WHEI-TV10. <laughs> Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University.
Hello, my name is Cameron Jernigan. I'm the current president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. When you come to Heidelberg for one thing and that's to learn, I figure like it's a great way to get out there to learn about other cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 615 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Hi, my name is Oshie Gray, and I just love California raisins. At our house, we eat California raisins on our cereal for breakfast, out of hand for lunch, and as an after-school snack. And good health starts with good nutrition. What better way than with all-natural California raisins? They're fat and cholesterol-free, low in sodium, with no added sugar. Welcome back to New Center 10, live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. Do you think you can dance? If so, go on down to try out for high tryouts for Heidelberg's dance team today in Wickham Great Hall from 6 to 8 p.m. Be prepared to show off some of your own moves and learn a short dance during the tryout. The dance team performs at many of the school's sporting events, and you can even be on the school's competition team. If you have any questions, you can contact Nikki Brose at nbrose at heidelberg.edu or Devin Williams at dwillia8 at heidelberg.edu. Heidelberg students are engaging in open conversation every Monday outside of the dining hall. Each Monday morning at 11, campus chaplain Paul Stark hosts Chat with the Chaplain outside of Horniman Dining Hall. The goal of Chat with the Chaplain is to provide students with a safe place to chat as an extension of religious life. Pastor Stark stated that students are welcome to talk about difficult subject matters or just to get to know each other. Here on Monday mornings from 11 o'clock to 12.45 just to hear whatever's happened from the weekend or just to talk to students or staff or faculty about whatever's going on in their lives. Um, I'm a pastor and I'm there to listen and I'm there to talk about spirituality or anything people wanted to discuss. I'm also there to talk about religious life on campus and civic engagement. And so if you're looking for a kind ear and word to offer advice or just a soundboard, stop for a chat with the chaplain right outside of Horniman this coming Monday, September 15th. For more information about Chat with the Chaplain, contact Pastor Stark at pstark at heidelberg.edu. The annual Lickman Bame Genocide Lecture Series will be kicking off on Tuesday, September 16th and going until Friday, September 19th. This year's series will focus on the Rwandan genocide that occurred 20 years ago and will host Mr. Claude Gatebuke as the keynote speaker. Gatebuke is a survivor of the Rwandan genocide turned fervent advocate and lobbyist for movements in the African region. The series will kick off with a showing of the film Hotel Rwanda at 7 p.m. in the University Commons. So Elizabeth, do you think you're actually going to go to chat with the chaplain maybe? Um, I've never done it before, but you know, I might just stop by. I really like Pastor Stark. He's a great yeah, guy. So yeah, religious or not, he's a really, really good listener, and you know, really just has a lot of good things to say yeah. to people. So that's I think that's really cool to look yeah. forward to. So and that's all we have for Berg's campus news today. We'll get into the latest news and stories from the social media world next. New Center Ten live at five. We'll be right back. Hey, and I'm Brianna, and you're watching W H E I TV Ten. Have fun. Woo! Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. My name is Angela, and we're bringing you Berks Fit to Heidelberg University um, to help the students as well as athletes and staff uh, be healthy, whether they're trying to gain muscle, lose weight, or just have more energy for class. Um, everyone has different goals. We offer pre-workout, post-workout, healthy meal replacement smoothies, as well as many snacks and healthy energy drinks for everyone. I like them at work.
my name is Cameron Jernigan. I'm the current president of the Culture and Spiritual Club. I would encourage everyone to join Culture and Spiritual Club because it's a learning experience. When you come to Heidelberg for one thing and that's to learn, I feel like it's a great way to get out there to learn about other cultures and bring us all together. Unity is one thing the school preaches and you'll definitely get that. So if any of this has uh, sparked your interest, I encourage you to come out. Our meetings are at 615 on Monday in Campus Center 225. Hello and welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending today in the world of social media. Macy's Fashion Rock event went from a battle of the booty to some seamless stripping to stop some booing. Jennifer Lopez and Nicki Minaj performed head to head on Tuesday night's show as JLo showed off her new trademark moves and her new hit booty while Minaj did one of many things she does while performing her single Anaconda. We'll, see, we'll let you see who topped the charts in the booty department. To further illustrate the craziness that ensued at the Fashion Rocks event, Justin Bieber literally stripped down. While Bieber, or yeah, when Bieber entered the stage to introduce Rita Ora, he was heavily booed, which naturally led him to stripping down to his boxers and socks as the only recourse. That's all we have for today's Social Spotlight segment. Let's send it back over to the desk with Elizabeth and Stacy. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Honestly, I wish I would have been able to see the event. Not for the beaver stripping, but for the head-to-head -head with J-Lo and Nicki Minaj. So J-Lo is great, but Nicki Minaj, she's even more than up and coming. Like She's you know, there. So. I just kind of want to make... I just want to know what makes you decide, oh, people don't like, like me, let's strip down to my boxers and socks? Well, I heard that it's a shameless plug for Calvin Klein and how he's probably going to be a model, so, and he had some very, very fancy underwear on, so could be that. <laughs> With all that said, it's time to throw it over to sports to take a look at today's top stories. The box score says that Heidelberg's men's soccer team and the College of Worcester battled to a one-to-one -one draw last night. As more accurate summary might state, that Heidelberg and Worcester battled the wind last night, and the game happened to finish in a draw. The weather seemed to have shaken up the Berg early in the game. Worcester struck early, making a goal in the second minute. Heidelberg found the equalizer in the 14th minute. Kurt Wilhelm took a through ball from Hamid Sharif and took a shot just inside the post. The Student Princess will return to action on Saturday in a match against Hiram College scheduled for a 1 p.m. start. Here is the sports lineup for the weekend. Tomorrow, Saturday, September 12th, both men's and women's cross country will be racing. The women's volleyball team will take on Wittenberg at the Wittenberg Fall Classic at 8 p.m. On Saturday, September 13th, at 1 p.m., the men's soccer team will face Hiram. At 2 p.m., Women's Volleyball will face Cal Lutheran at the Wittenberg Fall Classic. Also at 2 p.m., the women's soccer team will face Anderson out of Indiana. At 4 p.m., the women's volleyball team will play Washington at the Wittenberg Fall Classic. Go Berg! That's all we have for today in your Berg Sports. Let's throw it back over to the desk with Elizabeth and Stacy. Thanks, Dan. So, um, honestly, I guess I'm kind of glad in this aspect that I am not a soccer player because the fact that they had to deal with rain and the storm yesterday that is craziness but I'm glad that they pulled it together to at least tie it. Yeah. thought that was very good. You know a lot of people say they'd rather be cold than hot. Well you know what I'd rather be hot and not covered in exactly. wet rain. And I'd, I'd rather be dry. That doesn't yeah. sound like it was probably a very fun game to play. No not but particularly. When we return we will have our last story of the night. I'm and I'm Morgan Brandt. And, and you're, you're watching, watching WHEI -E TV 10. <laughs> Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University.
My name is Ocean Gray, and I just love California raisins. At our house, we eat California raisins on our cereal for breakfast, out of hand for lunch, and as an after-school snack. And good health starts with good nutrition. What better way than with all-natural California raisins? They're fat and cholesterol-free, low in sodium, with no added sugar. Hey, what's up? I'm Bella. Flack. Yo, what up? This is Vinny Guadagnino. I'm Nick Ken. Hi, I'm Aziz Ansari. That was your line. You can help by joining DoSomething.org. DoSomething.org. That's why I'm teaming up with DoSomething.org. <laughs> Welcome back to WHEI and News Center 10 live at 5. Let's get to our last story of the night. Don't you hate it when you go to rob somebody and you're too tired? Honestly, it is the worst. Actually, 29-year-old uh, Dion Davis knows that feeling a little too well. In Florida, he was awoken from a deep sleep just to be arrested by Sarasota police, actually, because he was in the middle of a robbery but instead fell asleep. Uh, so far, there hasn't been a statement from Davis, but I'm sure the Sarasota authorities will ask him when he wakes up. I hope so. He's going to be in one heck of a surprise if he isn't already. So, <laughs> That's all we have for you tonight, Th Tiffin. Thank you for watching WHEI News Center 10, live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Media from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Thank you for tuning in to today's broadcast. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our next. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Stacy. And for Dan and all of the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching. <laughs>